Today on the Tuesday Trio, three free online, easy to use design apps. That's a lot of adjectives. Welcome to the Tuesday Trio, where we explore free and budget tech resources for the small church. Today, we're gonna to look at design apps, but not just any design apps, design apps that are free, and they're online, and they're easy to use. So these are design apps for anyone who doesn't really know what they're doing when it comes to design apps. And there's some really good options out there, so today, we're gonna to look at three of them. Let's take a look. So first up in our easy to use, free online design apps, is Canva. Canva is probably the most popular one out there and it is pretty good. You can see we're on the beginning page. We can create a design from these templates up top or here's the designs we already made down here. And as we go through these three, you'll see they're all very similar. So let's click on this one. I think I created it a little before we started uh, just from a template. There we go. Herb. Uh, so you can see we can, just like a regular design program, we can edit any part of this. You can see I can drag these around if my internet was not being so slow. Let's see, we can change what it says. Good, we'll say, I don't know. Oh, that was too big. Goo, it'll say goo. <laughs> sure, why not? I think I could probably make that box bigger if I want to. Oh, that's the circle. Um, we can change change colors, change the font here, Not, nothing too surprising. Change all the spacing, all the text stuff. Um, change the background image. You can see over here on the side we have the different tabs. We have the layouts, which is all these right here. We have elements, so these are things that you can add to it, like we could add a shape if we wanted to ships come up it'll tell you what's free there are some things that are paid let's add this giant white square right here oh apparently a black square there we go and then you can change the color right here yellow square whatever and then over here you have the text uh, this is just adding new text you just drag and drop anything background colors or you can use images or patterns they have so Click on that. I don't know what that does. Do I drag it? Oh, uh, it's probably behind that picture, I would guess. Delete that picture. Yep, there we go. There's a sheep on a hill. Uh, you can upload your own things to add the design. And then when you are done, you can share it or download or buy print. So if I go with download, you can use ping, JPEG, whatever, and I download it, and I have my design on my computer. There you go. That's Canva. Uh, it is free, and there's also paid versions. So that is Canva. Next, we'll go to Clex. So Clex is by Gravit, and Gravit is a app that you install on your computer, kind of like Illustrator, and we went over that in the previous Tuesday Trio of design apps. So this is kind of the online version of that. Again, very similar to Canva. Here's templates we can use. Here's our designs. Uh, these are just things I took from templates earlier, so I didn't create these, but there we go. There's our design. If you can dream it, you can do it with people on a boat. So I guess if you dream you can be on a boat, you can be on a boat. Sure. Uh, we can change color. Oh, oh, that's a filter. Colored filter to our image. That's cool. These are image properties here, shadows, filter, opacity. We can make it clear. There's a woman behind there. <laughs> I didn't know that. All right, we'll do half woman, half boat, like a giant woman attacking a boat. That looks great. <laughs> uh, again, just like Canva, you have all these things on the side. Elements, shapes, icons, pictures, very similar. Images, stock images you can use text, edit the text, all very similar to Canva. Really the biggest difference here is you just have different uh, pre-made options. I actually kind of like the pre-made options better in Clex. And it's got these fun like text badges and shapes you can put on there, like Fancy Pony & Co. Um, oops, I clicked on the image. There we go. 
So that's Clex. Very similar. When you're ready uh, to download it, you just hit download up here, and you're good to go. And then finally, we have Designer with a Y. Uh, same thing. So we'll click on this edit this project again all very similar Clex Canva and designer uh, Clex I believe Clex is all free and Canva and designer both have paid options where you get more things more shapes more images more fonts all that kind of stuff so you can see here same thing on the side templates images text icons logos settings etc click in there to edit all the things it's got these uh, measures which are nice on the side I assume that's probably an option on the others so that's designer I'm not gonna go all the way through it because we it's very similar to the others so which one's my favorite uh, my opinion my favorite is Clex but Clex and Canva are very very similar I just kind of like some of the pre-made stuff on Clex and with Canva, oftentimes you'll pick something and then it'll be a paid thing and you're like, oh man, I wanted to use that. That doesn't really happen with Clex. I'm not sure if they have paid or not. Uh, I'd have to check that out. Uh, Designer is probably my least favorite. I uh, just seem to have more, op didn't have as many options I like and had more paid stuff. But if you like Designer, more power to you. So any of these are great tools for someone who doesn't really know how to use advanced design softwares but still wants to make great looking designs. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any tips or resources that I didn't cover in this video, please leave them in the comments below and subscribe to Mina Studio for more super nifty videos just like this.